Hi friends, in this tutorial we will learn some great tips that will encourage you to create a template file for your projects. Let's start! The advantage of having a template file to use on my similar projects is that I can save considerable time, especially on adding new elements that I'm likely to need them again in the new files. I am referring to layers, layout tabs with the right page sizes and viewports already in the right scales, and then probably I want to keep some of the blocks, dimension styles, text styles, among with other preferences. Of course, there are several ways to do this, but one method that I find that works pretty well is, after finishing our first project, we can use that file to create a template, but blank, without any objects there. So first, let's go to the Layer Properties Manager and make sure all the layers are turned on. These construction lines, it wasn't, so let's click here to unfreeze it. Finally, I'm going to select all the objects here in this green icon and have in mind that this tool also selects the hidden objects that I have here in the workspace. However, I cannot select the objects from frozen or locked layers. Now I can press delete. Now as you can see, my modal workspace is completely blank. And ah yes, let's save this as a template file. Actually, this should be the first thing to be done, in order to avoid to accidentally delete our project. It's simple, on the application icon, I'm going to join template and save it where you want, or you can create a specific folder, if you wish, and choose a file name that you can instantly recognize the kind of projects that this template is about. Save it, add the description here if you wish, and click on OK. Now let's look at some tips. The first one, only keep the layers that you think you will need on your projects. For example, this sketch layer, I made it for a specific feature on the previous project. As normally I don't need it, it's better to remove it from the template. So select it and press delete. Now you can say, yes, but there aren't a lot of layers here. That's true. But probably you are familiar with files with endless quantities of layers, like the example I'm showing. A lot of those layers, if not most of them, are specific just for that project itself. And then we switch to a new project, we copy all these layers and add even more for any specific situations. And sometimes we are just creating a layer that was already in the project. So, in conclusion, keep on your template just the layers you are sure you will need them. So let's go to the next tip. Keep the blocks on your template that you are likely to need them in most projects. For example, I'm going to the panel where I have the blocks on this file and suppose that I don't want the living room and this polygon. However, to delete a block from the file, it's not possible to do it from the list. Instead, we have to use the command porch. There are two ways. I can either type porch with the keyboard or find the icon at the manage tab here. Ok, this list shows up items that are not used in the project. Let's click on this button to open the unused blocks, which in this case are all of them. And by clicking on a block, I can see a preview of it, so I'm going to add a tick in the ones that I want to remove, and finally I click on Porch Checked Items and again in the same option in this window. Let's close the Porch menu. Now I'm going to switch to the Layout tabs and you can see that I label them with a name that is easy to recognize. Also the title blocks are already in the papers, so you don't have to adjust them in all your projects. Okay. When you are ready with your template, you can update the file by saving it as a template exactly as I did before. Go to Personalize Templates, 
and then rewrite the file residential projects. Finally, to create a new project, I go to new, select the template, and notice that it creates a new file, and then you have to save it with the name that you desire, as by default it's just drawing. Another thing, the template opens exactly in the same position as it was saved the last time. That's why now it opened in the front elevation layout. The same applies with the ribbon and the status bar. Before I saved the template when I was in the home tab. And for example, if I plan to use the 3D modeling workspace, I can switch to it on the gear here and update the template again. Okay. It looks like we reached the end of this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you haven't done it yet, subscribe to Cad in Black. There you can find all the content of tutorials for beginners. See you on the next occasion.